Welcome back to my channel. Guess what is going on? First off, moved to a new apartment. Second off, it is now Christmas time, as you can tell by my awesome background. And three, I am doing my own version of Vlogmas, which for those of you who don't know what Vlogmas is, essentially every single day until Christmas, I'm going to be posting a video on here for you. So today I'm going to be doing my November favorites, and I'm just going to jump right on into it. My first favorite is this Woodwick's scent thing, stick thing. I don't really even know what these are called, fragrance sticks, but it's awesome. It smells like toasted marshmallows and vanilla, and it makes the entire apartment smell like it. It's awesome. You walk in the front door and it's like vanilla awesomeness, delicious. Then next is another awesome smelling thing. It's this soap called the Black Cherry Merlot from uh, Bath and Body Works. And I personally really love the smell of this. My husband's mom really loves the smell of this, but my husband apparently thinks it's too strong. So you're going to have to kind of gauge this one for yourself, but I love it. I was a fan of the raspberry and vanilla scent, and this is kind of my new favorite in place of that one since they've gotten rid of it. Um, my next favorite is um, the Essential Cleansing Lotion by Dermalogica. And this is just a face wash, but the nice thing about it is that it has um, moisturizers in it. So it's really good for the winter months when, for those of you who are like me, and you live in a state where it gets cold and windy and snowy, it's good for just a little bit of refreshment on your face to help it stay moisturized during the winter. Moving on to two more moisturizing products. They are both from Tarte. The first one is the Pure Maracujo Oil. And I just use a couple of drops of this on my face before I go to bed at night. And this is a really good moisturizer since it is an oil. But I will let you know I don't I do have oily skin and this does not make it any worse. So that was something I was concerned about, but it's actually really helped me with moisturizing my face. Then the other product is the Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. And I just put a little dab of this and rub it underneath my eyes before I go to bed at night. And I'm really liking these so far. I've been using them for about a month now. And then I've got one more Tarte product. I know, stop with the Tarte, but I love it. And it's a palette that I got last Christmas, actually. And let me get this open for you. These are all the colors. It's got a lot in it. And I've mainly been using the majority of the colors on this side. I love, love, love this highlighter right here. It's fantastic. Probably my favorite highlighter I've ever used, which is awesome. But um, I don't really know if this specifically has a name because it came in a kit so I'm sorry if you're wondering exactly which palette this is I really don't know um, I got one more beauty product and this is just Walmart brand soothing cream um, daily moisture cream with oatmeal and deep moisturizers and I'm very sensitive when it comes to lotions a lot of them make my skin feel even more dry than it actually is if it has too many fragrances or anything in it but this is the first one, other than Eucerin, that I've tried that I actually really, really liked and that actually moisturized my skin. So, and even on here it says compared to Eucerin skin. So that's awesome. I'm glad that I found something that was a cheaper alternative so I can just throw one of these on my purse and be good to go. Um, next I'm gonna do my food favorites. And these I found kind of towards the end of the month. And these are just Martha White's Apple Cinnamon Muffin Mix. And you just add a half cup of milk to this and you are good to go. Put it in your oven and you've got some really awesome apple cinnamon muffins. They're not the best muffins I've ever tasted. I mean, you get these for a dollar, but these are stinking delicious for just something you can whip together in a few minutes at home. So I would definitely recommend trying those out if you are a muffin lover like myself. Um, for our wedding, back in, at the end of March, we got a Keurig but I didn't really use a Keurig over, whoop, over the summer because it's just too hot and most Keurig drinks are warm drinks. So I was just like, ah, I'll put it out till fall. Now that it is fall time, I've been using the Keurig and I have been loving it. And I have been loving the hot apple cider and the hot cocoa because I'm not really a coffee drinker or much of a tea drinker. So I kind of go towards hot cocoa and cider. But um, I've really been liking these. I was kind of a fan of the apple cider at first, but recently I've been finding myself going towards the hot chocolate now that it's kind of closer to Christmas time. And now onto my cookie favorites. These ginger snaps here by Stouffer's are seriously 
the best ginger snaps ever. I love them. Every year around this time, they bring them out to the grocery stores around here and I get really excited and I go buy probably more bags than I probably should, but that's okay because they are delicious. And if you are a fan like ginger, of ginger snaps, just try these out because they are awesome. And then the other thing I love to get, pretty much any brand of these, are the Danish butter cookies that come out around Christmas time as well. And I love Danish butter cookies. They, pretty much every single one of them in the pan is delicious and I will eat them probably more quickly than is humanly necessary, but it's good and they're cookies and it's Christmas time, so why not? We all get a little fatter during Christmas, it's okay. So that was pretty much all of my November favorites. Stay tuned tomorrow for my Vlogmas Day 2 video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.